in my dreams, transmuting lower energies. You insulting my intelligence, like I'm a dumb chick, but I'm the dopest chick, and you know that, bitch. Tap in. Hi, Virgos. Welcome or welcome back to the channel. Thank you guys so much for tapping into my energy. I am motivational speaker and certified life coach, Nayla Latrice, okay? So, yeah, Virgo. So, the message I heard for you guys was, these motherfuckers ain't stopping me. These motherfuckers ain't stopping me. These motherfuckers, these motherfuckers, these motherfuckers ain't stopping me. That's the energy that um, I was picking up on. And let me tap in and share a little bit about what this is saying. So Virgos, I'm a go. I'm a I'm a keep a 100 with you guys, right? When it comes to reading tarot, I have had so many battles. And I know if you guys have been on the channel, you guys have heard me talk about this plenty a few times before, not plenty, but a few times before, right? And I know there has been attacks from me from, I'll say, even within my own family. I have been in the energy previously on my whole entire journey. I've been reading tarot for about three years now where I've had uh, a lot of that self-doubt and all of that coming out of the church, you know, all of that. And then recently, there's just been a lot of things going on within the Tarot community. I'm going to speak on it, but I, if you know, you know. The back and forth that has been going on between um, some other people as well. And some of the things that have been said, some of the things that have come to the light. It's just been some drama. Attacks sent from other people. In the community, but we're all supposed to be light workers because they don't want they, they they come in for the readers. They come in for those that are enlightened and they want us to stop. They don't want us to be in our gift and they know how to target the weaknesses. And even if Virgo, it's self against self and ain't nobody doing nothing and yada yada yada. I'm still being real and talking about that. The, the, the indecisiveness, the back and forth because of the play on the mind that it can really keep on you to make you not walk in your purpose. But we all know that people send attacks and people don't want you to be great when they're not chosen to be great, Virgo. And I have um you choosing my words carefully, Virgo, I have been one of the people that have, you know, listened to 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 the self-doubt and allowed it to almost make the decisions for me. And the self-doubt, whether it was coming from myself whether it was coming from other people sending it to me or a combination of both. Spirit said, get your ass up. No, I put you there. I put you in the position. So don't let the naysayer stop you. And then immediately I heard, these motherfuckers ain't stopping me. So that's just that message. I, I know that I've turned a blind eye, Virgo, to even... I've had, I, I, it's things that Virgo, I just don't want to believe that is true. And Virgos, we can be like that. We don't want to believe that the things that we see directly in our face is the truth. Because it's like, nah, that can't be. But Virgo, it do be the case. Spirit has guided me to do certain things. That, and to cut people, certain people off and just to do certain things in my own personal life. And I know it's because they were sending me attacks. 
And I just did not want to believe it because of who the people were. I mean, and this is even after Spirit has sent me so many dreams. I mean, clear dreams, Virgo, of directly who these people are. I mean, the symbolization in my dreams of surrounding these people and everything. And it hurts, Virgo. It hurts. <laughs> because I just don't want to believe it. But Spirit says you got to keep on moving. It's giving me man down, man down. You just got, it's like you got to lead them down. You got to leave them where they at because they're going to try to pull you down, Virgo. And again, even if it's just you within you, don't allow you to stop you. Okay, Virgo? So these motherfuckers ain't stopping me. I ain't stopping me. And it's not just when it comes to the to to roll. That's mainly what it is. But there's other there's other smaller things. But ninety nine percent of it is you know coming from a certain background, Virgo, and then overcoming the humps when you have so including my children have never done anything negative or sent anything negative to me. Of course, they're children, but I also know that their belief systems because of what I trained them up to believe. You know what I mean? They they have you know, they have looked at me like, "Mom, you sure you're supposed to be doing that?" You get what I'm saying? Because they were trained a certain way. And now that I have wakened up, these past 3 years has just been a push pull, Virgo, and I'm just here sharing this, being very very honest with you. I'm just I'm so gifted, Virgo. I am so gifted. And people would like to say that this is wrong and it's it's negative and just so many things. I've conjured up stuff in my head that was from me and myself. Or maybe it was something that was sent to me that projected onto me. I don't know. But to make myself say, oh, this is wrong. I shouldn't be doing this. Or, you know, don't just stop doing this. You surge your time. Do something else. Virgo, I'm being vulnerable right now. There was a time I wasn't getting paid for it. So I'm like, oh, they just wanted they just wanted to steal my energy and take my energy. But yet people ain't trying to pay me for it. Hell no, nah, I don't work for free. I'm stopping. I ain't doing it. Like, I don't work for free. I ain't putting up no more reads then. Cause ain't nobody about to just take my energy and just nah. But spirit says, I put you here and I direct your path. And I don't care if it's your mammy, your daddy, your sister, your grandmammy, your, 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 whoever. Your cousin, your best friend, your husband, your wife. I don't, I don't, whoever I'm talking to, cause I'm being called to share this and be vulnerable and share this for a reason. Forgive. I've had to forgive, but I've also had to let go and move forward and leave those people where they stand, Virgo. They cannot come to, I know where I'm at in my life at this point and they cannot be here. I wish those people well, but they cannot be here. They have to do the work to match me to where I'm at. And if they ain't doing the work to get on my level, Virgo, and to show me that they are not who God has shown them to be, if God has not approved those people to re-enter into my life, Referring to family, because I'm being also called to do other things where I'm I'm going to be really sharing some some stories that people are not going to like. I'm not going to share personal stories of other people's lives, but I'm going to be sharing my stories and my life. And there are people that I know watch me and watch my channel that are going to hear that I'm sharing these stories and is going to reach Thousands of people. And that's a big thing too. A big battle. Virgo. So I'm here being vulnerable. Sharing who my innermost self with you all. Everybody ain't gonna get on here and share what they're experiencing. Especially as the readers I'm referring to. But as a reader... I'm here to say this is what it is. And this is what a lot of, whether they share it or not, a lot of them may, may go through it. 
And for some of you all, this may be why you are not showing yourself up on social media when you know you're supposed to be showing yourself up on social media because you going back and forth in your mind, but you have a gift to read too, Virgo, especially because that's who we are. But I'm going to go ahead and tap in because we already 10 minutes in, Virgo. Um, but I just, I just had to share that and get it off my chest. And I really, it's a whole lot. I know y'all hear how I'm talking because it's a whole lot more that I want to say. But Virgo, all I can say is bitch, it's on. Bitch, it's on. Because I ain't going to stop. I ain't. And I'm not just talking with this. Virgo, if y'all been peeping, getting little glimpses, y'all see and know who I am. Y'all know, y'all, I'm a musician. People that try to stop me from even with my music, people in the industry. Like Virgo, y'all have no clue what even goes on when I cut this camera off. Outside of the tarot, people just want to stop you when you are great. But I, these motherfuckers ain't stopping me. You got bullies that try to come in. Just to play on your self-esteem, to try to reroute you. You got just so many things that's taking place. So, Virgo, stay steadfast and be decisive. Make a decision and stick to it. Until the gates of hell come burning you down, telling you, no, that ain't what you're supposed to be doing. Okay, then. But don't allow other people's confusion, other people's drama. Don't get caught up in that. And don't let that persuade you to make you think, well, see, I was already thinking it. See, when you already don't let, don't, don't give the devil, don't give the devil a foot. What is it? Don't give a devil the way in. I'll just say that. Because when you already kind of on the fence. And then you see something that 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 makes you want to go the opposite way. It's kind of like, see, I knew I, I shouldn't be doing this. Because you may see videos and all of this other type of stuff. It's all projections and it's you putting that out there. And then you see something to confirm what you think you... You, you get what I'm saying, Virgo. I know it may sound all like, what the fuck? But it make, this video makes sense to somebody, what I'm saying. Even if it's only one person. Please drop a yellow heart down below if you if 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 you if you grasping where I'm coming from because I'm being so vulnerable right now, Virgo. So the word of the day is these motherfuckers ain't stopping me. The phrase of the day, the song of the day, I'm that girl by Beyonce. You that girl, you that dude. Whatever you do, whatever gift, whatever skill, whatever talent you have. If you got 15 talents, you better display all them motherfuckers. Every last one of them. Every last one of them. And you better be your best. Even if not one person like it, even if not one person watch you, you doing it for you because that's what you want to do, Virgo. And if you want to do it, then God is for it. Make the change, Virgo. Do what you got to do. Stop caring about what other people think. Stop people pleasing. Stand up. Stand in your power. Step in your power and stand in it. You are divine. You have divine guidance telling you to make the necessary changes that you're meant to make, Virgo. And it's time to forgive the past, but it's also time to leave the past and behind. And if you stop turning a blind eye to what you know is true. Okay. Swim away from this situation. Something lovely will grow from this. I just said you got to leave the past behind. Then past thoughts. Don't let you play on you. Don't let other people play on you, Virgo. Morning. The world awaits you, Virgo. And all of your greatness. You're great. I'm hearing Michael Jackson. I'm just getting Michael Jackson energy. Like you're the greatest, Virgo. You know who you are. You know who we are. But there's definitely a situation that, that, that you got to swim away from. And you got to trust and believe that something lovely is going to grow from you moving away from yet yeah, something that's coming to an end, Virgo. It's like, don't let the, don't let the enemy of your mind play you. All right. 
Yeah, cutting something off, being serious, going toe for toe. If somebody is bold enough to say something, do something, trying to be petty, you see the pettiness. I ain't saying you got to be petty right back, but you can call that shit out. We calling bitches out this season, Virgo. I don't care how petty somebody being, they don't get away with shit. You, every little thing you see, bitch, I see you and I'm calling you out. Because that's the only way you're going to really step into your authoritative power. It ain't you being Virgos. We want to keep the peace and uh, no, nah, fuck all of that. They do things to you, but then when you do something, when you call it out, they make it seem like you the one tripping. Hell no, nah, I ain't tripping, bitch. You know what you did. And they try to do things to make it seem like they, it wasn't like, like you did it or like it was already that way or whatever the case may be. Nah, bitch. And even if it was, I'm still going to call you out so you don't try me then. Like we not go, we ain't gonna play the games. It's it, Virgo. It's big Virgo energy. It's big Virgo energy. Fuck all that small shit, Virgo. Call them out. At least they they, they gonna know. Okay, well shit. Something wrong with that bitch. I'd rather be crazy in your eyes. Cause you ain't what you doing for me anyways. You ain't doing nothing for me anyways. What are these people that's doing for you anyways? And you know that what they doing. You got people cheating on you and making it seem like they ain't. You got people at work doing stuff to you and trying to make it seem like they ain't. Virgo, you know what the fuck these people out here doing. And yes, it is playing on your mind and on your psyche. But that's why you got to build up your own mindset and your own psyche. That's why you got to do the work, Virgo. If I wasn't doing the work, I wouldn't be able to withstand the shit that comes my way. You got to release a noodle, having a noodle back. Noodle back meaning being able to be a doormat and allowing people to walk over you. Speak the fuck up, Virgo. And stand in your truth. Make the change. What change is this that needs to be made? You could be born uh, September 7th, September 15th, September 8th, September 4th. Make the change. Make the change. Abundance is here, Virgo. Spirit got a lot to say. So I heard spirit is pissed off. Because P Virgos. Ooh, spirit, spirit don't like what's going on. It's a lot of stuff that's going on. Make the change. You getting this money. Be solid. Be stable, Virgo. Whatever ideas you're thinking of, then I say abundance when all that fell and first thing is abundance. I'm telling you, Virgo, they don't want you to step into your abundant energy because they don't know how to do it. And you the blueprint. So it's kind of like they want to they want you to keep doing whatever you're doing, whether it's music, whether it's reading, whether it's you a hairstylist, whether you a babysitter or a child care provider, they, they talking about your skills as a mother, as a father. They see you doing great and amazing, but they want to play on you to try to make it seem and say little smart comments and smart remarks and do all Virgo. Fuck all of that. They watching you and they like how you doing it. And they, you, they, 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 they see how you doing it. Copycat energy. There's copycats. They copycatting you. Cause you are the leader. You're the trailblazer, but they want you to stop Virgo. But at the same, they want you to stop because they know that you reach in the promised land. So they, it's kind of like, it's at the point where they've learned just enough where they feel they can take over. Even if you stopped, they feel they've, they've learned enough from you. But the thing is, they still they still will always need you because without you, they don't know how to move forward because spirit is guiding you with whatever it is that you do. I heard houses. You can paint houses or be a real estate agent. I don't know who you are, what you do, what your skills are, what your gifts are, whatever it is. Virgo, don't stop because you abundant. Make the change. Tap into your abundance. Shark, swim away from this situation. Swim away from this situation. What are they swimming away from? 
temperance. Things are balancing out. Spirit has already removed you from the situation. Six of Swords moving forward. Spirit has already moved you from the situation and balancing the situation out for you. Balance with the Six of Swords and with this temperance energy. Garden. Something lovely will grow from this. Yeah, your expansion. Your expansion into your new world. Look, Virgo. Look at this. Let me see. Okay. Y'all got the Ten of Pentacles here, Virgo. Keep doing what you're doing, Virgo. Because you expanding. You, you got to walk away from a situation right now, Virgo. And this situation could be people. This situation is the mindset. Whatever is not serving you, whether it's your own thoughts, you better, you better, you better do the work to, 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 to overcome those thoughts, to think higher thoughts, to think better thoughts. You better know who you are, Virgo. So these people can't stop you because if you don't know who you are, Imagine if I don't know who I am when it comes to me and my music and then people keep saying, oh, you ain't supposed to do this or what you, you know, as a, as a hip hop artist, you know how many fucking men, jealous ass fucking bitch ass men try to tell me that I shouldn't be rapping. Like what? What? Whatever you do, Virgo. Whatever you do, Virgo, you have to know who you are and you have to get over your own self. You have to get over your own thoughts, whether they're your own thoughts or whether, whether they're projected thoughts, where, where the thoughts coming from, we ain't going to get into the semantics of that, but they're there. So deal with it and stand firm and you still, you rock the fuck out and you'd be who you are with whatever you do. You shouldn't go open that store. Whatever you want to do. Them people in your ear. Telling you that you're not the greatest. But you know you're the greatest of all time. Again, that, Mike, that MJ energy. Virgos. Whew. I'm on one. I'm on one. I'm on one. What's the advice here for Virgo? I ain't going to keep this long. I'm going to come back and do a whole bunch of reads for y'all, Virgo. I got some catching up to do. You know, like it is what it is. Defiance. Yo, yo, go against the grain, Virgo. Go against the grain. Courage. I knew this was going to come out. Spirit says have courage. I knew this was going to come out. I knew this was going to come out. Spirit says have courage and stand up and fight for what you believe in. And call these people out. Call them out. I don't care what situation. This may not have nothing to do with your skills or your work. This could just be people in general that, that just want to just try to bully on you. This could be has something to do with relationships. Whatever the case is for you. I'm just sharing me. I'm being vulnerable sharing me. And allowing y'all to tap into my personal life a little bit. And who I am. And the things I experience. And it lets you know if I as a leader, if I as a coach, see leaders and coaches try to act like, oh, they're so perfect. No, nah, they go through shit too. They just don't tell y'all. They try to make it seem like they got everything together. And yeah, I got my shit together. Trust and believe that. But we still go through shit. But they just ain't going to tell you that they go through shit. What well, me, my leadership style... I got my degree, my master's in leadership. So I can tell you about leadership. My style of leadership, I'm very relatable and I'm very re I'm very real. I'm very transparent. I'm a transparent leader. And that's why I'm a transformational leader. Because it's my transparency that helps transform lives. And there's something that I'm saying that is going to help other people by me sharing my story. Instead of trying to sugarcoat it. 
I accept the responsibility for me because I ain't perfect. I ain't perfect, but I'm damn near. And that's why these motherfuckers is mad. And that's the same for you too, Virgo. I'm going to hype you up. That's one thing I am going to do. Y'all know how much I got in my inbox? I should pull up my inbox right now and show y'all the the attacks. Man, oh my gosh. If y'all only knew my inbox be full of motherfuckers sending me shit. Just because they don't want... Oh my God, Virgo. If y'all only knew. And when you have so much coming at you and you feel like you don't have support... Yeah, Virgo, that plays a role and it takes a toll and it can make you second guess and a whole lot of other stuff. But I support me and I know y'all support me too. But no matter what, I support me and my children, they support me. They know who I am and what I do. They support me. Anytime a conversation come up, we, we, I talk to them about it all the time. And I'm working to reverse a lot of the things that I've put them in because of what I taught them. So what's in their subconscious mind when it comes to to roll it specifically? Because them scriptures that 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 is that's false. Not all scriptures, but if you know, you know they put stuff. They they they've written some stuff up in there. This 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 that made it seem like no, nah, this is evil and no, nah, that's that that's what that man wrote. That's what men wrote. To 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 to, to, to that way they can lock us up in the system of religion, and of the church. That's how they, that's how they stopped us. Let's, let's put, let's put the, cause back in the day they was the witches and the witches was a good term. They was conjuring natural herbalism, all of that. And they saw the connection that, that we had to, to spirit. If we go take it all the way back, everything that was written on them tablets and on them walls. The symbolizations, all the symbols and everything, they, 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 when they colonized, they said, let's, let's take, let's take what they got, but let's also add in and we go add in, we go add in enough to, 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 to make them feel like who they are and what they do is wrong. And then we go teach it to them. And drill it in their heads that this is wrong. So now we got a whole world of people that believe that it's wrong. Or will the scriptures say this? The scriptures say this and that and that. Nah, bruh. But I know the real from the fake when it comes to the scriptures. But when you've had things embedded in your head and you got a whole world that's fighting against you, how strong can you to stand up against a whole army that comes against you, Virgo? You will be the last woman, last man standing there. I don't care if everybody went against me. I'm going to stand firm in my truth because I ain't no bandwagoner. So Virgo... I'm going to just leave it here and I'm going to be back with another message. But I just had to get this out. And don't let these motherfuckers stop you, Virgo. Call shit out. We call it shot caller season, Virgo. You call the shots. You call the shots up in this piece. And don't let nobody tell you different. Have the courage of standing your truth. Look at this. You get in the Ten of Pentacles. The morning awaits, the world awaits you. Your family, the, the ones who are for you, meaning you and your own household. If I apply this to me, this me and my kids. That's it. That's it. If you ain't me or part of my foe, I ain't gonna say fuck you, but far as you know. Now, I ain't talking about y'all, Virgo, but you get what I'm saying. I'm talking about referring to the people that's around me that's been trying to get into my energy and trying. You know how many people have been trying to come back around in my energy? 
Virgo, I'm trying to tell you, trying to come back talking slick. And it ain't, it ain't just, it ain't romantic lovers like that. I'm talking, it's, it's all different types of people. Virgo, I, I, this really wasn't even a read. This is more so me talking to y'all. This is me and my foe. I know who I am. I know what I got, Virgo. I know what I got. I know who I am. I know who I'm connected to. I know where I'm headed. I know my future looks I know what my future looks like because I'm creating it. And I know the people in my life that are for me. And where we're headed. To the land of expansion. But it requires to walk away from things even if again this is your own mindset that's keeping you stuck. You could be born uh, September 6th as well. I don't know if I said that. Oh, November. Uh, I said November. So somebody could be watching from November or you could, um, that's, that's not a Virgo. Or either you could um, also be dealing with somebody that was born in November. But September 6th, 7th, or 8th, or 4th. But the situation is going to, when you back, when you walk away, or if you've already walked away, this that's how things are balancing out. It may be the hardest thing you got to do, Virgo, but you got to let people, things, situations, attachments, let it go. And you got to have the courage to do it. Because there's a king of pentacles that's waiting on you here. Whether this is money, whether this is the opportunity, whether this is a person, whether this is you, the King of Pentacles in you, because this is you, Virgo. This is you right here. So take it how it resonates. Or it could be a combination of all of it taking place at once. But it's going to allow you to change. But you got to make the change within you. You got to make the decision within you. Do the mirror work, Virgo. You got to look in that mirror. You guys can book your mirror work sessions down below, Virgo. But yeah, this is the message here, Virgo. I'll be back for another read. Thank y'all so much for tapping into my energy. You guys can give this video a thumbs up if it resonated. Again, y'all can drop a yellow heart if y'all feel what I'm saying. Okay, let me know that y'all here and that y'all are for me and y'all don't want me to stop as well. You feel me? Support me. Let me know that y'all here with me too. But it's still, I'm going to still do what I'm meant to do, what God tell me to do until God, like I said, to the fire, to the, to the, to the, to the gates of hell come just ripping shit apart saying, nope, don't do it. And not just with this, with anything that I do. So y'all show me some love in, down in the comment sections, uh, Virgo. Okay. That virtual love because y'all my family, y'all who I got and y'all the ones I can't leave because y'all is my family. Y'all do show support. Y'all do show me love. So thank y'all for your patience as I, you know, continue to, you know, go through my growing pains. But family go through growing pains together. So thank you for loving on me. Thank you for supporting me and everything that y'all continue to do for me, Virgo. I appreciate y'all too. I'm just here being a vessel and I'm being real and I'm being transparent. So y'all can support me down below. Um... Uh, again, by putting a, a, a green heart, a yellow heart, whatever you feel, whatever you want to put in, make a comment, say something, whatever you want to do. Again, you can give this video a thumbs up, Virgo, um, and you can book your personals down below in the description bar or your Reiki or your um, coaching. All right. And Virgos, I will see y'all in the next one. I am Coach Nayla 